I helped somebody with a clear out the other day because I had a knock on the door from somebody whose dice and I had refurbished before in a dim and distant past and they said, do you want these? I don't want them anymore. These, no charger, nothing. And obviously I didn't want to say no, didn't particularly want to say yes either, but you know, she's gone to all the effort to bring them over. So at the very least I could do is, well, have a look at them before, who knows, maybe we need to drop them in the bin ourselves. Or maybe we can get something out of them. They obviously have worked because they're both incredibly full. So we have the Victor V9. Oh, look at that, look. Put a pop of that on the wood. That didn't work. Ready to clean them up and see if we can get them working and what we've got. And well, we'll go from there. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? I never really expected to be showing you a vax gator because quite honestly, I hate them. These are terrible things, really. I would probably recommend you get an old Dyson DC-34 over one of these if you just want a little handheld vacuum. But, you know, they're here. We would make the best of what we've got. So... We shall have a look at them. Now, the first thing to notice is that I've got no charges with these at all. That's partly why they've been sat in the corner of the room for months. And I had a tidy up the other day, found them out, and went, oh yeah, I was going to do a video of that. So, lunchtime today, I went into my box of random stuff, you know, the box of cables that everybody has, and found two DC jacks, which fit these machines. And... Having put them on charge for half an hour, they do indeed work. Not very well, but that is to be expected. This one sort of does work. I think they just need a big old charge, like leave them on overnight. This one seems to be a bit happier. But yeah, this one isn't. But equally, they could have been dead for months. So... My plan is, we got to pause this video anyway, because you know, we might need to wash some filters. So we'll get this bit out of the way, and then I can leave them on charge whilst I wash and dry what we need to wash and dry. And then we'll go from there. We'll put this one to one side, because it, it doesn't like standing up. And we'll stick to this one. Now, this is the more familiar style of Vax Gator. I've seen the you know, 20 pounds brand new that's upside down 20 pounds brand new and you know I'm, I'm sure they were a lot more money in the past but yeah these are just your standard dust bustery affair and again it, it works although I think the battery needs a bit more of a charge we have an extendable crevice tool which is actually not too bad it's, it's quite nice to hold I'll give it that about the only nice thing about it if we open this up we can see that yeah just like the typical ancient dust buster which is pretty much all this is just you know getting the best they can out of an existing design we have the motor unit which i can now put on charge and then we have this which is the dirt container and if we take out the filter we can see that yeah there is actually a fair bit of dirt and we can also i think this is actually how you're supposed to empty it yes i think open those clips and then you tip it out like that without having to take this off at all although you should because otherwise your filter ends up like that and yeah that is precisely why we have the victor v9 stood right here
there we go. This one didn't come up too badly at all. The bin's going to need a bit of a wash because it's pretty grim. But yeah, overall, that's obviously just not been cleaned for a while. Typical cheapy cordless thing that they all get treated to. I mean, there's still, there's still no flipping suction, but again, that's because the thing doesn't seem to be charged up very well, although it has only been on for an hour or so, I think. Oh, I don't even have a power plug near me. So I think what I'm going to do is, because I think I want to wash the filters. I'm going to sell these cheap. I'm going to stick these on Facebook if we can get anything out of them for, you know, a tenner, just to get rid of them without having to put them in the bin. Although this one's going to need to take a more substantial charge than it is. Let's move on to this one, which is actually a Vax Dynam Dynamo cordless. 14.4 volts. We have... 115 watts rather than the 100 watts that this one is so for much more power and some sort of contact presumably to dock it on a wall again I, I, I've just been plugging it in where is it via the DC jack there this one is very much fuller but again works very much better it has a nice LED battery indicator there I presume it's a battery indicator, it goes red when it's charging, whether it goes up and down, don't quite know. What I do know though is that it really does need an empty, and it's also quite filthy. There's lots of gunk under here, so we will want to be taking that apart. And I'm hoping it's just going to unclip, and then I can give it a, give it a wipe down. Yes, sir. There we go, perfect, because now I can clean all that up and put this back on. I'll leave that off for now. Yeah. As you can tell, these have old school batteries and motors that do the whole decline as you use them. What we're going to have to do really is you know, clean this out because this is obviously it was his last hurrah before for whatever reason they gave them to me so Again, this one's going to need a washout as well. That's that's not mould. That's just the white that it should be at the bottom. But that's fine. That can be soaked. This one, however, I think is missing a tool because it's only got this rectangular bit there, which will get the bits up, but certainly isn't very ergo ergonomic. Not ergodynamic. That's the wrong word. And I can I think it is missing some tools. But. Ooh, does actually have some suction. And it does sort of work, which is nice of it. <laughs> so yeah, we in theory have ourselves two vacuum cleaners. This one has to prove itself with you know probably an overnight charge, same with this one, to see what happens. But I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to pause recording and get on with other stuff and get these washed and dried and charged and then we'll come back and see if it was worth it and see if they're any better well it's been a day actually since this very massive heat wave that we're currently having in the uk stuff is drying like that i can put a wet hose outside and it is nearly melting itself with dryness after a little while and these have been on charge these are the charges that work very well with these particular ones one of them makes this very hot so i had to do a little bit of choppy changing yeah this one works very well and always did actually this one however hurts right up still drops still drops 
ever so slightly, but it's certainly not as bad as it was. I have the bins sat here, all rinsed and washed vaguely, and oh, actually, I've got to put the screws back in this one. Two seconds. There we go. I you can't, well, I couldn't figure out how to take this whole black thing off, but it moved just enough for me to be able to flush all the grit out that had sat underneath it. And then, yeah, the filter's got just a hand wash, really, a nice soak, and then a good wash up by hand, and that is all they need. So we can put this one back in and connect it back up to its machine. I managed to get all the grab that was down there. Ooh. That works very well now. Excellent. Let's see if this one is a similar success story. I rather hope it is, especially since it now thinks it's going to work much better than it did. Hey! Not bad. We'll put this little crevice tool back in and you know what, I'm pleasantly surprised the old scrap pile has yielded them a nice charger and I should be able to stick them on Facebook for ten of each. I think this is the problem really. In my eyes they're utterly worthless. I feel slightly bad asking a tenner for them. But to somebody else ten pounds should be fine. It's certainly the lowest I go before just throwing them in the bin because it's more worth it. But they they work. We'll pass them on, give them a good home. So, there we go, really, just a little bit of a maintenance and service on these. Do you have a fax gator? And if so, has it been good to you or not? Do let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I, but hopefully not another one of these, will see you soon.